Well, Chris, these interviews are starting to get a bit easier. I mean, we've come to Haribo this afternoon. We're coming away with a three 0 win. Your thoughts on that game? Um, yeah, good, good to get a three 0 win. Good to get a clean sheet. Um, let's have a go at him for, at half time. Um, I thought first half we went one 0 up. Should have been, should have scored before that. Um, Gent should have scored before he's, he got his goal. Um, and then we get the goal, and we just seem to stop doing what we do. Um, and and they got back into it and were unlucky not to score. So, uh, yeah, had a bit of a go at half time and just said to them in their brilliant reaction because I um, had a right go at a few of them and I didn't think we were on it. And they were on it second half and, and it was pretty comfortable in the second half. I mean, as you said, Jensen did have a few chances there and he was just in the right place at the right time for the, you know, for, for the first one. And then, you know, to come 20 seconds into the second half, you know, and really just give yourself that little bit of cushion that really we deserved and needed. Yeah, yeah, perfect time to score, isn't it? Uh, for anyone, when you're 1-0 up and you've got to come out second half and, and get and get one straight away, yeah. Um, he, he took his goals well, like I say, he should have scored just before that. But yeah, that settled us down a little bit and we mm. seemed to find a little bit of a rhythm and uh, yeah, like I say, it was comfortable second half. And then later on, Dankar decided to celebrate getting back into the team with getting a goal for himself and yeah, I think that in the end wrapped it up. Yeah, yeah, Dan's got that. Dan's got that in the ten. Um, he could play in there. He, he done well in there. He, he um, great little run, and um, perfectly weighted ball in for him, and, and, and a good finish. So yeah, he's uh, he's come in today, got into the side, and and, and uh, grabbed his shirt. So yeah, it'd be interesting team selection for me. Uh, a bit of a headache for me it, next week. It will. I noticed in the second half we saw Claire having to come on as physio on a number of occasions. Um, Sam Evans looks as if he'd got a bit of a hard knock. Is everybody okay now in the dressing room? Yeah, yeah, all good, all okay. Um, it was just a, it was just an impact tackle. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't see it, but apparently he got stamped on in there. Um, but uh, that's what we do. That's what we were doing there. We frustrated mm. the other side, and and and, and that's what, and, and that's what their their lads got and done. Um, but yeah, no, he got up, he got up and battled on and uh, and mm. played his part in 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 the in Jensen's uh, no Dan Carr's goal. Mm. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and there's no 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 real injury worries for us at the moment. Not that I knew of in there. Mm. Um, Sam was Sam had a knock, and there's a couple of others that picked up knocks, but they're just war wounds from a mm. from a local derby. Indeed, and uh, we leave the derby season to take on Basingstoke Town next Saturday back at the Power Day. I think, as you said, the team selection is going to be very interesting. <laughs> going yeah. to have to be a good week of training. Yeah, exactly. The headaches I want, they're the headaches I want to have. Um, yeah, so it'll be an interesting week this week in training and. Uh, we we um, we'll be prepared for for Basingstoke Town at home. Who um, are a good side um, mm. next week. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Rob.